Hey everybody, let's talk about what this new Google Business Profile Strength icon is. Uh, so this is for your Google My Business now called Google Business Profile. They've added this Profile Strength Indicator icon on your search results. So in this video, I'm gonna talk about what that is, what this means, and what you can do to improve your Google Business listing to rank for more keywords, get more customers and phone calls. And this is vital for small local businesses. So stay tuned. And if you haven't yet, um, make sure to hit that subscribe, like, or follow button. Uh, my name is Mac Frederick, founder and CEO of Momentum Digital. Used to work for Google and now I help small businesses grow online with SEO and other digital marketing aspects. Um, please turn on that bell for post notifications, hit that like button. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them below and follow us on social media. And let's get into the video. So Google added this new profile strength indicator on Google Business Profile. So if we go over to our agency account here, um, you'll see this profile strength button. Let me minimize myself. And this will show you the strength of your profile. It could be red indicating it needs a lot of work or yellow showing that it just needs a little bit of work. But in my opinion, it's kind of BS. Um, if you're not sure how to get here or what this is, uh, it used to be called Google My Business and there was a mobile application that you could use and download and update your profile and everything. Uh, now it is rebranded as Google Business Profile. Uh, and what this is, it's your free Google Business Google Maps listing uh, that you can create and manage uh, to rank higher on Google, Google Maps, Google search results. And you no longer log into the back end anymore. As long as you're logged into your account that has access, you can just go to Google and search my business or it should pop up. Or you can literally just search your business name, which is what we're gonna do for this example using our agency Momentum Digital. Now, within this profile, just really quickly, there's a few main things that you must do when creating this or optimizing your account. Edit your profile as much as you possibly can. You know, obviously business name, your business category, you can choose a primary. You know, add at least, you know, close, to, close as you can to 750 character limit uh, for your description, adding keywords and services in there. Make sure to have an opening date, contact phone number, website, short name, uh, business listing or area, service area, uh, business hours, special hours, more accommodations, except uh, accessibility, amenities, crowd, planning. There's a lot of new things they added ever since COVID. Uh, and this kind of changes depending on the type of business you have, whether you're a hair salon or a bakery, you can have scheduling or appointments or menus for restaurants, a lot of different things here. But we're gonna talk about this profile strength because it's kind of BS in my opinion. And if you look at, you know, only a few other articles talked about this recently because it's very new. Um, a lot of marketers and SEOs and business owners aren't happy about it. I think it does make it easier for a small business owner to understand if they are having success with their account or not. Um, but you'll see it's kind of a scam. If you look through some of these screenshots here, shout out to um, Search Roundtable. Uh, they do a lot of good work with blogs. Um, if you're fully optimized on your profile like we are, it does push you to claim your free advertising or push you into advertising by saying your profile's not complete. And the only thing left to do is to advertise, which doesn't make sense. Uh, they really are focusing on making it much quicker and easier for small businesses to advertise with Google Local Smart Ads, which we've talked about in another video on my YouTube channel. So you can skip all that if that's the last thing it suggests. But you'll see in some other examples that there are things you can do to optimize your profile. Now, this comes down to simply clicking that button that says complete or update info where it'll kind of guide you through the process, whether you need to add your hours of operation or add photos or posts or um, update your settings or even something as simple as, you know, adding the date and year you were founded. Um, other things you can do here uh, that we would suggest, the main things more than anything I would say is just get more reviews and credibility. Obviously having good and many reviews helps your credibility, which Google recognizes because people care about that if they're searching for products or services. So focus on getting reviews and responding to them with proper keywords. 
whether the review is good or bad. Second thing you want to do is optimize your profile completely. Add as much information as you can about your, your business right here in the edit profile tab. But also if you sell products or services, you want to add those products or services with pricing and descriptions and links. Uh, you can turn on a Q&A section. You can also add updates. These are posts. So if there's a new update about your business, you can add photos, descriptions, links, calls to action. Uh, you can also add any offers or deals or specials you're having, or if you have an event or a party or something, you can add that as well with a date and an offering. And there's also this option to send out your review link, which I definitely suggest, whether it's automated or very manual via email, text message, or, or social media. So fully optimize your profile, get as many reviews as possible, and then check on your performance tab, which you'll notice performance is actually now shown in the Google Maps results if you're logged in through your profile and into Google Maps on your business. It'll give you the performance dashboard right there. It's just trying to make it so quick and easy for small business owners to access this. Um, here's a link to a support article by Google talking about the uh, profile performance, how to make changes, review your insights and performance metrics. So check that out. Uh, check out these two articles as well. And don't get discouraged if it says that your profile is not complete. Just do everything you can and don't advertise if it asks you to unless you really want to pay for ads. And if you do need help with SEO or digital marketing, feel free to leave a comment, contact details below, or go to our website. We have tons of free uh, informational blogs and videos as well as our YouTube channel. You can search Mac Frederick or Momentum Digital. Our blog's right here at needmomentum.com. I hope this was helpful. Check out this new feature. Thanks for watching. Leave those questions, comments, or ideas below. Loving any feedback we can get, and we will catch you next time. Thanks. Peace.